check out this big lineup. Everybody's getting ready. We've got about two minutes or even less. People are going to start rolling into the show. Everybody looking forward to the show? Oh, yeah. I tell oh, you guys yeah. that. What are you here to do? You're here to buy sleds? No, no sleds apparel. Yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your brand? What are you guys into? Yeah. Saw them in there this morning, all training, lined up, getting the whole spiel. Some good leftover There's some stock good stuff. Good deals. There's a lot more sleds in here than last year too. Come on this way. Yeah, look at all these people. Wow, more than last year lined up. And you know what? It's Friday. At one o'clock, it's a hard time for people to get off work, right? It's not very easy for them to, get out to come to this kind of. Thing. So this is a good, this is a good show. This is a good sign. Good, how are you doing, buddy? Louis Kibo. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You too. Watch the channel? Yeah. Arm watch. Guy, this guy watches the channel. Yeah. What are you here to get? Uh, I'm just looking at slits. There's a lot. Crazy. Where do you see all the mods? Check out our booth. We have the jet truck here. Uh, right? <laughs> Welcome to my home, everybody. I just wanted to. How's it going, guys? Good. You? Louis Skibo. Louis too. <laughs> Louis too. Louis. Louis. We watch all your videos. You do. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You're from Ottawa. Yeah. Job lads. Where do you sled? Up in that area? Yeah. Yeah. yeah East End. Yeah, I'm in uh, Orleans. I live in Orleans. Okay. Very good. Jet trucks here. Yeah, we're, we're excited to see that. <laughs> yeah, and a bunch of other cool stuff, and uh, you guys are going to love it because there's a lot of mod sleds around, like just drag, and there's a hill cross, and there's water cross sleds, all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, make sure you stop by the booth, and uh, yeah. we'll do some pictures and all that kind of cool stuff. Thanks. Okay, guys. This is, this is pretty cool, all the way around. How are you doing? So, what are you guys here to see? Uh, yeah. Sleds, yeah. Yeah. clothing. Are you here to buy a sled? Yeah, you... just picking I'm up looking some for some CNA, CNA skis minis. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. You guys there? You did the snowcross? Water, water cross. Oh, water cross. Yeah. There's a really cool booth there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's our, our, uh, party. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Well, maybe you guys stop by our power <laughs> booth. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, tell me what it's going to take to get uh, snowcross or uh, water cross or all. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Watch your show. Yeah. Right now. That's great. Stop by and see this guy. Hey, Louie. Hi. Louis from Power Mods. Nice. I'm Lucas. <laughs> right on. You guys gonna? Uh, what are you here for? Looking at sleds? Looking at clothing? Looking at parts and sleds and stuff. Yeah. What kind of sleds are you? Into? Uh, Articat. Articat. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. No, good it's sleds. pretty good. Oh yeah. Good job. Well, uh, check us out. Check out our Power Mods. All right. And, uh, I was watching them on YouTube There's, last night. They were. What were you watching? The uh, ski that they were running. That Big little board? Rev. Yeah. That, oh yeah. yeah. What's in there? The jet truck's in there too. You're gonna want to see nice. that. Nice. Hey guys. Right. There you guys. How are you guys? I watch you on YouTube too. All right. Thanks very much. That's great. We appreciate the support. Hold. Just keeps going. Just keeps going. Hey. Never even knew this part of the building existed. All right. Who's Kibo? How are you? Nice to meet you. So where are you guys in from? Uh, Elmer, Ontario. Elmer? Yeah. Hey, I'm from Ottawa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're from Elmer, Ontario. Oh, well, Elmer, fast. Ontario. Yeah. Wow, okay, where's that? That's uh, just south of London, actually. Yeah. Very good. Now, we're here to buy a sled. No, no, no. See his clothing, see all the uh, new gadgets and everything. There's that's lots there, of yeah. And many more snowmobiles than usual. That's right. Really. Are you new to snowmobiling or the yeah, snowmobiling? Yeah. Yeah. That seems to be the. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's where it all started. That's, that's, that's a family thing. Yep. yep. Okay, we'll see more. Thanks. Louis, how are you, buddy? Good, how are you doing? Good. Nice to see you, dude. Yeah, this is my son, Connor. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Oh, boy, nice what are you doing down here? Oh, I kind of do the whole thing. Make sure you stop by my booth. It's Power Mods. Okay. Uh, I got my, my jet truck is there. Oh, yeah? yeah? Firefighter from back home. Yes. The guy looking after all. Well, he's the chief now. <laughs> Known each other for a long time. A right? long time, yeah. yeah. Good time. Good for real. We'll see you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
How you doing? Good, Luis Kibo. GC, Yamaha. Nice you guys are fantastic. Barbara, Elio. Hey. How you guys doing? Good, good. So what's going on? You're going to go in here and look at sleds. What are your sleds, ATVs? Yep, it's sled, it's sleds mostly. Wow. See the new Vipers out there, see what they're doing, see what's going on with them. Yeah, well, there's some nice kit, there's some nice hardware in there. Pretty right good, now. pretty fantastic. Yes, and a lot more sleds than even last year. Uh, really? Oh, great. Custom sleds and uh, drag sleds and water crossers, all kinds great. of really interesting stuff. Okay. okay. Okay, fantastic. So we're not in stop by our booth. They got the definitely will. I got the jet truck there. Luke, thank really? you very much. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Hey, where are you in from? New where, York. I thought so. Yeah, Long Island. Did you hear that accent? I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that up. <laughs> Ex we're gonna have to almost head. How you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, good. Can you believe this? Crazy. I can believe that. All the way down there. Wow, this is an amazing thing right now. How are you doing? Louis Kibo from Power Mods. Hi. How are you guys, what are you guys uh, doing here? Looking at sleds? Yeah, we're looking at all the new sleds. There's a lot of nice stuff in this. Yeah. This is uh, it's kind of a banner year for the sleds. Where are you getting from? I'll get in Knockway, Ontario. Oh, yeah. We're from Ottawa. Yeah. 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 How are you doing? Louis Kibo, oh, you're on new top. What's your hand? Where are you in from? Mr. BRP. This is the man. How are you doing? Good. Louis Kibo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right on. Well, you know what? We're going to have to have a new talk get together, I think. That's right, probably. Yeah. Um, probably last members here today. I'm pretty sure. You know what? We'll do that on social media. We'll let everybody know when things are going to happen. Stop by the Power Mods booth. For sure. Okay. Check out what we're running. What are you guys in it? What are you buying? We're looking for a new track. Coat for a girlfriend, probably. Yeah. You know, lots of stuff in there, boys. Yeah. There are a lot of sleds this year. My first yeah. time for the show. He's been here 10 years. Well, this is the place to be. That's it. <laughs> nice meeting you. How's it going, fellas? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. good. Kim Fuller, I uh, sent you an email last week about asking about the motor fist. Yes. And you emailed me back. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah. Is there yeah. motor fist? If not, I have some products in my booth that you can look at. Right. I don't sell anything, but you can. Have you got something that's got I can try a size on? Yeah. Okay. I have. Uh, well, most of my stuff is large, so okay. probably pretty very close to it. Like that's what I was doing. <laughs> um, I, I found a large jacket. I bought a large jacket off a guy. He had it in his closet. Never used it. Motorfist? Yeah. You good? A recon? Yeah, yeah. That's right? what I have. That's what I run. Then you think so this layer is not long enough? That's the position. Are you your uh, trail run? Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't do much off road because I got a four stroke 1200. So yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So. No, I really. It's going to take you a day to <coughs> experiment with it. If it's a really cold day, right. it's, it's keeping keep the wind off you. Like yeah, we got a big bag on the back so I can put layers in there. there I'll see you in there. Okay, thank you. That's where they make the money. I don't know if we're going to be able to get back in, Jamie. Did you take that? <laughs> this, is the, this is the end of the line right here. How you doing, fellas? How about you? Where are you in from? Louis Skibo, Power Mods. Oh, uh, from Port Hope. Port Hope. Yeah. Buying sleds? Clothing? What are you into? Uh, ATV. And oh, ATVs. ATVs. Yeah. ATVs. He's the first guy we met with the ATVs. Oh, really? Yeah, everybody's like, I'm here for sleds. <laughs> Stop by our uh, Power Mods booth. Yeah. Check it out. We shoot a lot of video here. So. Okay. Right on. Yeah. Excellent. Have fun, boys. Yep. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. Let's get back inside. <laughs> Who's this? Who are these fellas? Adam. Nice to meet you. Louis Kibo. Louis. Hi, Louis. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Louis Kibo. How's it going, Jason? Well, you guys, you're in, uh, you're in for a pretty good show. Yeah? Good. I'm telling you, I don't know, have you been to the back yet? No. There are slides everywhere oh, and yeah. cool stuff. Yeah? Some very cool rides right here. Well, we came here. across to, yeah? In this building? Water cross, everything. Back there, what do you yeah. see? Yeah. Is Ian uh, Hayden will. here? Ian Hayden will be here. Darn right. I know oh. him. Yeah, you do, eh? Good out of boy. Out of boy. Parker. 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 Come on over here. Get it. 
Let's stand beside the RQR because it's a beast looking machine, right, buddy? Ready for the go? Big thumbs up. Thumbs up, guys. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. We're going to put this wrap on now. Here we go. Boy, busy day, fellas. Boys and girls. Lots of people here for the first day. Incredible. This is why I can't speak anymore. <laughs> I'm just plain old Ryan Harris. I'm just old, good old Ryan Harris. Yeah. We were in Idaho last week. Oh, we were uh, we were doing the dunes with uh, Boondocker. We were shooting video with. Oh, with Jared and Rocky, those guys. Oh yeah, we had a great time. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's a, awesome. a fella flew in from Saudi Arabia. We built their their one one thousand uh, razor right there, and then we went out in the dunes and watched them, oh, yeah. got them rolling. It. I actually nice. spent some time with Rocky and Jared in Edmonton last week, and they were telling me all about it. So Did they? I guess it was quite the machine. Yes, so we had a great time. For you guys. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, we had a blast. These guys oh. are building some wicked stuff, aren't they? Well, they're, 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 I'm not, they're not crazy, but they're, they're extremely talented. Yeah. They're nice, very nice people. It's, it was actually very refreshing to go there and see everybody and talk yeah. to everybody. That's cool. It was pretty good. Yeah. Happy to talk to you, brother. We're fully aware that at your age, old sleds probably don't interest you. Your, your idea of vintage is going to be sleds that you see today, that you love today, that maybe your dad or your grandparents are riding. But we can assure you that as you grow older, you're, and if you, if you love a snowmobiling like ours, I hope you realize that I'm impassioned by this. And we'd be happy to, to get you into the hobby of vintage snowmobiling, help you out with getting some local local guys maybe to you to help you build one or rebuild one or maybe even help your school if they want to do a project. We'd be happy to help you. That video I shot with uh, Chris Reed last year was very, very popular. Yes, performance tamper video. It was really well done. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And uh, Yamaha called me up and they used it at their at some of your booths. Yeah, we're putting on a loop tape. It's probably on one of these videos right here. It's probably looped on that TV right now. That's awesome. Yeah. That's good. That's good for us and it's good for you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so tell me about the new things. Thanks. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. You take care. <laughs> things break. You're hard on them, right? Sometimes you're sometimes you're hard on your body. Real hard. Right? I mean, this isn't this isn't this this is serious stuff. Like yeah. I mean for everybody watching, it looks like a game or something, but it's not. You know, you can hurt yourself. Yeah. But you guys you guys practice all the time and even sometimes some things go wrong. You break sleds, you hurt body parts. Not if it's one. Yeah, exactly. It's bound to happen at yeah, some point. Long now enough timeline, it's gonna happen. Dude. Yeah, right. Uh, we got the, the plaid hoodie, which I'm sure that you're probably really feeling that, right? Yeah, I'm loving that right there. Plaid, plaid hat. Well, yeah, I am. When I met my wife, I wore a plaid shirt not much different than that, and she married me. I knew you were like some sort of a lumberjack. Oh, totally. I knew it. <laughs> you can tell when you're looking at it. You don't think that at all when you look at me. You, you present the aura, though. I yeah, can feel it. I'm a redneck. Check my booth. I have a jet truck. I've heard about the jet truck. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. You were pouring Go. jet fuel in it uh, while it was running in the yeah. with, with like a soda can or a bottle or something? A uh, beer pitcher. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Just to emphasize the redneck part. Right? Yeah, pretty much. And okay, this is how fast my jet engine burns fuel. Empty. So pretty efficient. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Debbie and Scott. This is Scott, of course, and that's Debbie. Uh, they have a pretty cool... All right, everybody, we're here at the Toronto Snowmobile ATV and Power Sports Show. Scott Bergstrom, I met you earlier. You're at the front. And like all other things, when I see a cool product, I always like to get somebody into the booth and talk about it. Okay, so this is what. Doing video. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So this is what you were uh, talking about. I met Guy yes. uh, from Splash and Dirt down at the other end of the show here. This is the Toronto Snowmobile ATV and Power Sports Show, and I saw this. I saw this vest, so I said, "Come on down to the booth, and we'll take a look at it." You got to tell me all about this. Yeah. Stop the clock. Make a decision. Make yeah. it. Yeah. Make it. Yeah. Well, he's, wrong or right. I would say he's make making it. the decisions yeah. down yeah. there yeah. and then just yeah. defer to him. Yeah. Just going to put this under here. Just make sure you don't hit this. Here, and stick that in your pocket. Okay. I don't want to get too fresh with you. You get mad at me. There you go. So I'm going to stand on this side right here. How's your sound? 
quite a bit better job than I did. Uh, it was a good thing they were here because uh, I'm making a real mess of things. I'm getting old, get a little shaky. You know, that's what happens when you get when you turn 25 like me. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't fall for that. The Rev is going to get an 860 big bore by RK Tech. Kelsey there is going to hook us up with something with a lot of power. More power than 827. And, uh, you know, is that even possible? So we're going to take this apart and then Brian is going to take all these parts home. He's got a revolutionary process for cleaning these. It's vapor blasting. I had a quick peek and they look pretty cool, and, but I didn't want to look at everything because I'm still in awe. Sure. Okay, so you just okay. took these home yes. last night yep. and you cleaned them all up. Yep. And I want to see everything. Everything. Okay. It looks. It looks like like well, candy. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we start with the uh, the cylinder head. Okay. Now this cylinder head was the one that was all damaged up. Yeah. It looks. I just, I just did half, so it just shows a good before and after. Look at that. It looks like you painted it. Yes. Yeah. I have a lot of people who say it looks like it's a paint finish, but it's not. It's just clean. Thanks. Okay, things just keep getting better. <laughs> this is how it goes. The camera gets turned off, and then we start talking, and then all other things roll it's up. It's been so busy. I've not left this booth. I don't yeah. to come down and talk yeah. to But no. now, and there's the top secret stuff right here, but we have first oh, access to it. You know, at Woody's, we're always trying to develop something new and exciting. So with Al Burrell, he's the man at <laughs> Royal Distributing. He's a, You're in charge of sales? Sales. Yeah. Well, I'm sales. I'm in sales and a buyer for Royal. And a buyer. I've, I've spoken to you many times. I order parts, I end up talking to you. It's, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Dad. So wow. this is the key selling feature to our Gideon model camera, which retails in camera in Canada for 339 Canadian dollars, of course. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now that this is a, this is a key um, function for anybody who's shooting a video in the field. <laughs> That's it. And what's your name again? I'm Scott. My name is Scott. Scott Kuklock? Yep. Kuklock. 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 Where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, Minneapolis. You're from Minneapolis? Yeah. And what's your what's your position with Polaris? Uh, snowmobile sales manager. Oh, Chris, you're ruining everything here. Quiet on the set. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll see you next year. All right. Thanks okay. for stopping by. Right. Okay, Jamie, let's go. Yeah, you should. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah uh, we make and no wrinkles. Look at, and I look more awesome on camera. <laughs> Trust me. So we're here with Louie from Power Mods. Now we were here with you last year. This That's is right. amazing. Tell everybody home if they don't know what Power Mods is. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can never see you getting upset. Yeah, well, uh, you just have to talk to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Dad gets angry. And by far, this is my favorite show. This is my home. This is where I live. And uh, you're making me cry here, you bastard. <laughs> he's getting, um, he's verklempt. Yeah. yeah. Sports show with Kelly Hall. She is the owner of this massive operation here, which I found surprising, I'm not gonna lie. Most people do. <laughs> yeah, this is the Ontario Watercross Racing Association. Yep. That's very good. It, it's a growing sport. Absolutely. And I wanted to hear about this curved ski. I hear a lot about it. I see you guys on social media. I see a lot of videos, and uh, it's about time we talk to you about it. Too bad. Like, uh, honestly, this is the most traffic I've ever seen here. It is. Well, for the, I'm here for the third time now, and this is the amount of largest traffic that I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, well, actually, we started right, right around the same time. Exactly. We're, it was the same time. Exactly. This is our third show. Yep. Yeah. Now, you have an amazing snowmobile, probably one of the nicest ones I've seen here. <laughs> no. He actually came by. I, Louis, I need a snowmobile to work on. Can I? Speak. Uh, Speak. <laughs> I need to. I, that's you, Ed. House of Lords. Jesus speaking. <laughs> you are. What's your position uh, here? Manager participation and partnership development at OFSC. Okay, so Jamie, so we got all that, all that awesomeness. Now we're here at the Toronto Snowmobile ATV and Power Sports Show and we're with Lisa Stackhouse. What do you do here, Lisa? I'm a manager of participation and partnership development with the Ontario Federation of Snowmobile Clubs. She's like the big shot. That's why we came to talk to you, right? Oh, Louie. Nice to meet you, man. My back is a little up. Is it? Gotta do one of these. 
There we go. Drink this cram? I don't know what that is. Snowmobile in. Oh, okay. Does it to the back. Located. Uh, we're located of, uh, I'm not located out of Toronto. And uh, my teammate uh, Scott Galley here, he's from the uh, Uxbridge area. Uh, basically, we're out here at the ATV Snowmobile Show um, promoting ATV racing, kids in ATV racing. Nice. Um, and also uh, next year, uh, ammo reloaded. Russell stopped by the booth from 519 Sleds. Yeah. It's kind of a popular thing. It's an area code thing we see on Facebook and Instagram and all social media yeah. right now. Yeah. And uh, I've been on 519 Sleds for a while. Well, look at that. Yep. 519 Sleds. I'm gonna put that on the Ford. Awesome. Selling units, we're selling used parts, we're selling clothing. Oh, you mean just look at this? Yep. Look at the people behind here. Things are excellent. It's almost too much. Yes, it's <laughs> it is. It's three days of mayhem, but you know what? It's worth it. You gotta be here for your customers. Pretty cool. Yeah. So okay. pick it up and thanks for pushing it. That's it. Come on you guys, look at this. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I love. <laughs> Darn right. Yeah. Okay, so what are the blends? Supercross, you've been, have people have seen it. Dude, we want to put that. We want to do a three hour program and it's gonna be all about the show. And it's gonna be big jumps. Yeah. Tight turns, tight racing, lasers, fireworks. John, that's Pyro. his special team, and he can make We're that light happen. Him up. Pyro. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, that's the only thing he's gonna blow up. That's right. Yeah, I don't know anybody who doesn't have a snowmobile that doesn't break. You know how you don't break a snowmobile? You don't drive it. You don't turn it on. <laughs> Sleds are us. Yeah. I see you here every year. The last three years, same amount of time we've been here, actually. Excellent. And uh, this is a, a large used sled section. It is. You've got. Great selection, everything you know, for the people to come through, whether it's someone starting new in snowmobiling or someone that's been in it for years, you know. James Lawson, a very Irish name. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's with Tau Tau Canada. Canada. Yeah. So we're at the Toronto Snowmobile TV and Power Sports Show and we're at the Kimpex booth with Lee. That is an official wrap of the show. It is five o'clock, it is time to shut her down. We've got to pack all this up. You see that door right there? That door is for this entire hall. If you look around here, nobody can get out until Power Mods gets out. <laughs> so we've got the trailer at the door. Nobody else can do it. And we're just starting to wrap it up. It was an amazing show. The biggest turnout I've seen since I've been here and the best response, the best turnout that I've heard from all the other uh, vendors that were here as well. So we had a great show. We got a great chance to meet all our Power Mods fans. It was incredible. We got to meet a bunch of new manufacturers, see some cool stuff. But I gotta tell you, for us it was all about the fans. I met a lot of cool guys. We had a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I couldn't ask for anything better. And I gotta thank everybody for tuning into Power Mods and watching. When you come to a show like this, and you get to see everybody turn up. That's what it's all about. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because we have a lot of cool videos coming up and a lot of cool riding coming up. Some, some interesting things took place while we were here, so things are just getting brighter and better for Paramaj. Thanks for watching. Smiles. Okay.